now the latest on June 26 around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The first tropical depression of the eastern Pacific hurricane season has formed today, 1E off the coast of Mexico. Invest 94W and 95W remain in the western Pacific at this time, neither of which have developed yet. It's June 26 and we're up to 27 storms so far. It's day 26 of Atlantic hurricane season where no systems are active at this time. In the eastern Pacific, the obvious is uh, presented to us on day 43, Tropical Depression 1E. It was inevitable, it's finally happened, the latest start to a season since 1964. In the western Pacific, Invest 94W and 95W still have moderate chances of development. Interestingly, 94W appears to be developing a new center much further north. No systems are active in the southern hemisphere at this time. So we are sort of going out on a limb a little bit here with Invest 94W with its position much further north than what other agencies are saying right now, 132 miles from Naha in Okinawa, 24.3 north, 128.3 east, all part of the same system nonetheless. We still expect that it could become a tropical depression briefly before affecting Japan and then moving well off towards the northeast and turning post-tropical could become quite a deep exotropical cyclone later. Still the possibility that might not actually develop. Tropical Depression 1E is currently located in the eastern Pacific, 30 mile an hour winds, 1,007 millibars, 265 miles from Manzanillo, Mexico, 15.5 north, 105.7 west. This is likely to become a brief tropical storm, probably not too strong, uh, and of course if it does become a named storm, the first name on the list is Alvin. Um, we expect at this point that it will probably be gone by this coming weekend, so it's really a limp start to the Eastern Pacific hurricane season. Here is how it looks though on the satellite imagery with that sheer um, overlay, although not much of it is visible there. 15 knots of wind shear just to the east there. Not sure which way it's going ascending or descending at this point, but that is around the guideline, the high end of uh, favorable if that makes any sense. The lower the amount of wind shear, the better it is for the storm. 15 knots is just about marginal for favorability. Looking around the world right now, the North Atlantic looks like this. Pretty quiet generally, some thunderstorm activity along the eastern coast of Nicaragua. Uh, but elsewhere, it's pretty quiet across the basin. Not too much elsewhere there. The Gulf of Mexico looks like there's some thunderstorm activity occurring towards the northwest, uh, generally. Uh, along the coast of Texas, some interesting activity there, probably not too convective at this moment. TD1E is quite clearly visible on this imagery now, which you can see there on the right hand side. Looking towards the central Pacific, very quiet, the equatorial region there, um, producing quite a few thunderstorms there, but nothing that will develop. The Western Pacific has Invest 95W located down there. Uh, it's looking a lot better actually. Interesting little feature towards the northeast there, and 94W, uh, which is quite a mess at this point. But you can see those latest frames, possible flare up there, which could be a center of circulation developing near Okinawa. We'll wait and see on that. The Australia and South Pacific region uh, looks like this. Not too much going on at all. A bit of thunderstorms over the northern Solomon Islands and the Indian Ocean is rather quiet. A burst of thunderstorm activity in northern India, Bangladesh uh, and Bhutan. And this is what the sea surface temperatures look like right now on the eastern coast of uh, the western coast of mexico rather the eastern east pacific very warm where one e is now that is the reason why it won't last very long so sea surface temperatures are going to drop off a cliff pretty soon in about two or three days time so that will really be the killer for one e if wind shear doesn't do it the north indian ocean there looking very warm the cold trail from Bayou last week is pretty much all gone the bay of bengal very warm 30 degrees 30 degrees plus the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea pushing 31 or more and it's going to get pretty cool for 94E very soon. And here is a look at where the floater is centered on 94E which is still right down there near the Philippines. Certainly remains a complex situation and there's still the potential that those circulations could form elsewhere. The reason why also that we went further north with its estimated position is because the GFS is initiating it as such and we'll wait and see whether that actually comes to fruition. 
This is what Tropical Depression 1E looks like on the latest Go 17 imagery. Uh, gradual movement towards the west-northwest and really looking pretty good actually, fairly compact but blowing up that convection, very typical of a Tropical Depression appearance and could become a tropical storm pretty soon, wouldn't surprise any of us I don't think. And this is what the naming lists look like. The next name in the Atlantic will be Barry. The Eastern Pacific is still waiting for Alvin, but not likely to be for much longer. In the Central Pacific, the next name on the list is Akoni. In the Western Pacific, we're still waiting for Sepat. And in the North Indian Ocean, the next name on the list is Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website, with the latest information. You can also find our YouTube page, search Force 13 if you're not there already. Please subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find our social mediums, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text to get in touch with us on there. Our next Tropical Weather update will be here without fail tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>